When was the last time that you expressed your needs to your partner? That is, without getting defensive, yelling your face off, or uncontrollably crying. Probably been a fucking minute, right? Or never, because it gives you crippling anxiety. Believe me, I understand, but I don't want you to feel that way anymore. So here are three things that could change your relationship forever. I'm Jenna Wallen. I help guide you through your childhood trauma to create pinch me in my dreaming relationships. Number one, understand your freaking needs. How are you able to talk about them if you don't even know them yourself? We abandon ourselves so easily. It is difficult to go inward and understand what needs have gone unmet from childhood to our teen years and now into our adulthood. This is the first step that I always take my clients through to witness their thoughts, beliefs, and their patterns. When we actually witness what is going on in our mind, we can start uncovering where our trauma is coming from. For example, when I was growing up, we moved a lot and I got into a fourth grade and the girls already had their core group of friends. So I felt not good enough and left out in every situation, but they were still inviting me to things. This is just how I perceived it. Flash forward, I got into toxic relationships that I felt left out as well as not good enough. Because this was a familiar feeling, I didn't have the guts to go, at eh, red flags, I don't like this situation and how I'm feeling, and then leave the relationship. Instead, I go, this actually is what I'm used to. I'm going to stay. Number two, express your needs. This is going to be difficult. If we've already figured out what needs we have, now how do we express them? And we need to be comfortable with expressing them. One thing that I would recommend is journaling. When we tap into writing and telling our own self what we need, it is easier for us to share with others. And lastly, three, share with your partner. After doing one and two, this is surprisingly easier because you've already gone through the steps of being able to connect with yourself, understand your own unmet needs, maybe even fulfill them yourself, which you should be doing anyway, and then being able to write them down, expressing them to yourself, making them known. And again, many times we fulfill them ourselves. But if there is something that our partner can help us with, now we are able to express that. Quick recap, understand your needs, express your needs, and share with your partner. Think of these tips the next time you're talking to your partner. Always think of me. And for more tips on bettering your relationship effortlessly and enjoyably, I'm your gal.